This is Simon and in this video we are looking at parametric equations. But before we start, we need to look at two very important uh, definitions. And the first of these is a Cartesian equation. And the Cartesian equation is an equation which links x and y. So for example, a Cartesian equation could be y is equal to 4x. And that's just because it links x and y. And that's what we normally see when we see an equation. It's normally a Cartesian equation. But the thing that we're looking at today is a parametric equation. And a parametric equation is separate equations, yet they are both linked by a third variable. And below we have x is equal to t minus 2, and y is equal to t squared minus 4. And this is a parametric equation because we have separate equations, yet they are both linked by a third variable, which is t. And normally the third variable will be either t or theta, as it normally represents time or an angle, for example. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work out what the x and y coordinates are by uh, using these two. So x is equal to t minus 2 and y is equal to t squared minus 4. And in order to work out a coordinate, you have to make either y equals 0 or x equals 0, depending on which you're trying to find. So first of all, we'll look for finding these um, x coordinates. So when does it cross the x axis? And we know it crosses the x axis when y is equal to 0. So therefore, we're going to say 0 is equal to t squared minus 4 as we're now using this one over here and then we're going to say that t squared is therefore equal to 4 which means that t is equal to plus or minus 2. So very important that we have a plus or minus as if we will find two coordinates of where it crosses this x-axis. So therefore, we'll put them back in. So if we put 2 back in, then we have 2 minus 2. So it crosses x at um, 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. At 0. Or we can have minus 2 minus 2, which is going to be minus 4. So therefore, we can put it back in and say that cos x at minus 4, 0, and that is one of the points, and it crosses at the origin, so 0, 0. So we have two points there. In order to find the y coordinates, we know it doesn't cross y when x is equal to 0, so this time we're using this one here, so that 0 is equal to t minus 2. Therefore, t is equal to 2. So then we put 2 back in, so we get 2 squared, which is equal to 4, minus 4. So y is therefore equal to 0. So therefore, it crosses at the origin 0, 0. So those are the coordinates. So one of the things that is extremely common when dealing with parametric equations is converting from a parametric to a Cartesian equation. And the first example we have here is x is equal to t minus 3 and y is equal to 7 minus 2t. And in order to do this, we need to find out what t is and then put it into the other equation. So then we don't have any t's and then we only have y's and x's. So first of all, what we're going to do for this one is make t the subject of x is equal to t minus 3. So if we're going to do that, it's going to be t is equal to x plus 3. Now we can substitute x plus 3 into the y is equal to 7 minus 2t. So it's going to be y is equal to 7 minus 2 to the x plus 3. Now, as you can see, we have, um, we have something which doesn't have any t's in. And this te is technically a Cartesian equation, yet we can obviously simplify it a lot more. And a question would... Um, really want you to simplify it, it would expect that. So that's going to be 7 minus 2x minus 6. So therefore, it's going to be y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. 
and that is our Cartesian equation which we've got from these parametric equations here. So the next one inc includes sine theta and cos theta, and this is a slightly different example as we have to start using the trigono uh, trigonometric identities. Um, and in order to do this, we're going to square both sides first, and you'll be able to see once we square them how this has made it a lot easier. So sine squared is equal to sine squared theta, and then y squared is equal to cos squared theta. So now if we add them together, we can get x squared plus y squared is equal to sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. And by using our trigonometric identities, we know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So this means that we can get a final answer of x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And that's a Cartesian equation because it's in terms of x and y. So the final question we're going to look at is an either idea of transforming a parametric equation into a Cartesian equation. And this one includes tan t as well. So in order to do this, we're all also going to use some trigon uh, trigonometric identities, and they're really the same ones. They're not hard ones to do. It's just hard to see where to look at. So first of all, we can say that x is equal to sine t over cos t. And we can also say that y squared is equal to sine squared t. Now in order to do this we know again that x sine um, that sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1 and we already have sine squared t and that's y squared but we don't have cos squared t so we're going to say plus cos squared t is equal to 1. So this means that what we now need to do is we still have a t in this, so it's not a Cartesian equation, but what we need to do is find out what cos squared t is in terms of x. And for that, we will be using this and doing some rearranging. So we know that x cos t is equal to sine t. Now this means that cos t is equal to sine t over x. Which means that cos squared t, which we're trying to find out, is equal to sine squared t over x squared. Now again, this still has a t in it, so it's not a Cartesian equation if we just put it back into this. But what we do know is that y squared is equal to sine squared t. And we have a sine squared t in this, so this can also be equal to y squared over x squared. So therefore, our final answer is y squared plus y squared over x squared is equal to 1. And that is our final answer for that particular question. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.